One of the biggest sins narcissists do to you when they end their relationship with you. Have you ever found yourself questioning why, after a relationship with a narcissist, you're the one left missing them while they seem to move on without care? It's a puzzling situation, and today, we're going to unravel the truth behind it. Welcome to this episode, where we embark on a journey toward understanding and freedom. If you're as captivated by the mysteries of narcissistic behavior as we are, hit that subscribe button and show your support with a like. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with the latest insights on this channel. Let's dive right into it. Let's delve into the first aspect of understanding narcissists and how it connects to your experiences with them. Think of a narcissist as an adult with the emotional understanding of a four-year-old child trapped in their body. Just like that child, a narcissist struggles to grasp the concept that things or people exist beyond what's in front of them. Imagine taking a toy away from a young child and burying it. At first, the child may cry or demand the toy back, but soon their focus shifts elsewhere, and the toy becomes effectively invisible to them. Why? Because their limited cognitive capacity prevents them from thinking about the world beyond what they can see or touch. This inability to understand that things still exist when they can't see them is a bit like a narcissist's pattern of staying stuck within their limited capabilities. It's become an ingrained part of who they are, and it consistently fails them. Now, here's the connection to your experiences with narcissists. When you stop catering to their ego or meeting their needs, they stop thinking about you. In their eyes, you become irrelevant. You no longer serve any purpose or fulfill their desires, so they have no reason to consider you. Their self-absorption and sense of entitlement make them completely unaware of your worth. Their attention shifts to the next person or source that can provide them with what they want at that moment. Unless you initiate contact or they need something from you, you won't even cross their mind. And even then, they'll only think about you if it's convenient for them. Their narcissism blinds them to your existence, making them easily distracted and self-absorbed. They don't see their connection with you as valuable, so they can easily move on without a second thought, leaving no trace of your time together. Narcissists don't miss the moments you shared because, to them, those experiences didn't matter. They followed a set plan, using your feelings against you because they knew it would hurt you. But none of those actions meant anything to them. They just did what they thought would work, without any real feelings or interest. So, if you're not around them anymore, they can't miss you because they barely remember you. After dealing with a narcissist, you might feel a mix of emotions. You could miss their presence, wonder what they're up to now, and even feel drawn to their new connections. It's like a battle in your head between knowing they were toxic and remembering the good times you had with them. This inner conflict can be confusing, and you might start doubting if they're really a narcissist. You might think, if they were so bad, why were they nice sometimes? These mixed feelings can keep you stuck in an unhealthy cycle as you search for stability and familiarity amid the chaos. When you're not sure who the narcissist truly is, you stay on edge and your emotions go crazy. You might see that the same person who hurt you is the one you want comfort from. They might make empty promises and show occasional affection, making it seem like things are balanced but in reality, they don't genuinely care about helping or supporting you. It's like getting a tiny crumb from a stranger. Despite those brief moments of kindness, the relationship can never be what it once was. You long for the closeness you once had, seeking stability, but the narcissist has moved on. They'd found what they wanted elsewhere, leaving you in this intense attachment. You made them your top priority, giving them control, thinking they were the missing piece. They took advantage of this, and now they don't feel the need to reconnect because they found it elsewhere. You can't stop thinking about them, but they don't miss you because they believe it's acceptable. They lack guilt for their actions due to their distorted sense of right and wrong. But dwelling on the past won't help. When something ends, it's over. It's time to focus on your own growth and move forward. I hope this video gave you some insights. If you can relate, please share your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. Let's support each other on this journey of self-improvement.